In this tutorial, I'm going to briefly demonstrate how to use the autopilot in the Cessna 172P to get from the departure location to your destination over a short flight. I will then briefly demonstrate how to land. And it is highly recommended that you use a joystick, or at least a mouse if you don't have a joystick. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get the MP map open. There's the URL up there. Ah, whatever. And decide where you're going to start and where you're going to land. I have already decided that I will take off. I have already decided all of this stuff. So I'm just going to um, use the navigation features that the map has um, to search for the things that I want. So, just to bring that all up. Okay, so we're going to be starting at San Francisco International and landing at Meadowlark Field. Yeah. Okay, now next what you want to do is determine the distance between your departure location and your destination. So to do that, I use a... Uh, I use Google Earth for that. You're also going to want to determine the um, initial heading from um, your departure to your destination. Now where? Make sure you have the ruler and not a mile. So if you don't have Google Earth, um, it's a free download. Just go to Google and search Google Earth, and it'll be one of the first links. Hmm. Well, that's kind of unusual. I think that's yeah, that's the one. So then you're going to want to make note. Then you want to make note of the heading that initial heading, and that it's 32.53 nautical miles, so that you know for later with navigation where you are. The idea is for it to be realistic, and in reality, when you're flying, you're not going to have an MP map tracking where you are. At least, not now with a C-172P. So then that's 24.9 nautical miles, and we're going to round that to 97 degrees. And then once you, you might want to like write that down somewhere, like on a piece of paper, and not actually like have this open because unless you're using a powerful computer, having Google Earth running and the MP map and flight gear is going to cause all kinds of lag. That is just you don't want it you don't really want all that lag. It makes it impossible. Okay, so we figure that out. We have all that information now. We close Google Earth. Now we can finally start flight here. I'm going to start from a parking position, since usually, in reality, you don't really start on a runaway. Okay, now I'm going to check the weather. 
and newt your inches of mercury for the altimeter so you can calibrate the altimeter. We can do this while it's loading and it's totally fine. Okay. Now the frequencies for the um, San Francisco Vordima, uh, Vordimi and Oakland Vortex are already in the rating. So, okay. so I'm going to press F12 to bring that up and I'm just going to add the headings that I found from Google Earth in here. So, 85 and 97. The ADF is Automatic Direction Finder and that uses NDB as non-directional beacons. So Riega had a frequency of 374 kilohertz. So I'm just gonna adjust that. And apply, and you'll see all the nav radio stuff changed. Oh wait, I don't want that at zero. I want that at 70 because from where I'm approaching, at least for now, the, run the end of the runway closest to me has a heading of uh, 070 magnetic. Or about that. And I'm just going to hit apply and OK. Next. I'm going to zoom in here because pressing the buttons gets a little weird. Okay, so you may have to hit Control C to bring up the hot spots, which may or may not be exactly on the buttons as you can see here. I'm just going to press that ADF button in and it activates the ADF needle. Mm. Okay, well, that hasn't moved at all yet, but when I gain altitude, it should. So, yeah. Um, okay, we're all set now. I no longer need the MP map. Uh, yeah. And, okay. Now I'm going to zoom in a little so you can see what I'm doing. This plane starts basically just like a car as assuming you have the fuel mixture fully rich which when you first start out by default it will be so you just turn the key, I'm going to use the curly brackets on the keyboard and then fire the starter Right, and now we're ready to go. So I'm going to taxi to the departure runway. Or in this case, will be runway zero one right, since we are departing east. Yeah, as you can see, I'm turning 